Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Do you enjoy watching your movies on physical media? Do you enjoy film memorabilia, star autographs? Fantastic, because today we're going to discover a treasure trove of vintage and modern film memorabilia and collectibles at the London Film Fair. We're going to meet some dealers, browse their stands, and if you stick around to the end, you'll find out which super rare James Bond poster I found and what other memorabilia I bought. The London Film Fair is the longest running convention of this type in the UK. It was founded in 1973 by Ed Mason and it was he who also later introduced the first star autograph signings there uh, with people like Bond Girl and Hammer Horror icon Carolyn Munro and Dave Prowse, you know, the guy in the Darth Vader suit in Star Wars. really feel the history then amongst all these items, vintage to modern, uh, DVDs, uh, Blu-rays, books, posters, signed memorabilia. And then of course on top of that you have the autograph signings which you can see there taking place at, at tables. Autographs are charged at between 15 and 25 pound sterling a piece. Each star seems to set their own rate and it seems to depend on the level of fame. If you don't have an, an item to be signed, you can buy a photo from them, which is a, another charge. And there's also an opportunity later to take pictures with your favorite stars, which again is an additional charge, 50 to 25 pounds. You usually get to take one picture away and you get an electronic one so you can print more of the pictures um, yourself. But the idea behind the physical photo is obviously that you can then get that signed. And this is in effect how many of the stars from the past make an additional income. The organizer assigns guest assistants to each of the stars that attend these autograph signings and have an opportunity to briefly catch up with the assistant to Stephen Burkhoff while Stephen Burkhoff was taking pictures with fans and I think I distracted him. Keep an eye on the background. What does it feel for the people sitting on the other side of the autograph table? There's a sign behind you that explains who you are with a picture of what you used to look like in your heyday. Well, I, I think for the, the guests I've assisted for, they, they appreciate that there are still people who come and want their autograph. Um, I like to think that everyone who, every guest is someone's favorite. So no matter who they were, or who, who they are, or how obscure their role may have been, that there's still someone yeah. who really want their autograph. It's a, a good point, you're right, there is a lot of love, yeah. even for minor characters. What drives you to do this? I just like being part of the back-end machinery that makes these uh, events happen. You're a collector yourself? Or you... um, I don't really have the disposable income, uh -huh. but I, I just like being able to interact with the guests. Mm. Yeah, I, I bet that is fun and you get to hear a lot of stories. Thank you very much for your time. I think Mr. Burkhoff escaped us while yes, we were talking. I'll, I'll so. go back to his desk. Yes, so thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And then I met Flash. Flash. Not that Flash. Not that one either. His nickname was Flash. He's, a, he's an artist. He draws James Bond characters. Look at the uh, picture of Madeline Smith on his T-shirt. That's one of his pieces. Uh, and he's, he's got a store where he sells soundtracks and laser discs. But I let him explain. My name is Flash. My friends call me Flash. Uh, I'm a James Bond collector. I used to be now on deal and buy and sell uh, brochures, toys, model kits. Uh, I do a lot of shows around the country. I don't just do film shows. I do toy shows and I do 
Comic Cons in Saigon. Like so oh. I've turned my hobby of collecting the James Bond into a a side hustle, my wife calls it, but it's like a semi business. With lots of lovely things. Indeed. Uh, we have vinyl, Japanese laser discs, we have Japanese 45, we have two books, and Japanese, Japanese film brochures and all the rest of it. And if I would ask you, what is the a prized piece here, or a rare jewel? Um, laser disc. I think I managed to get hold of Quadrophenia. It's a movie from the 70s, late 70s in the UK. Very oh. hard to get hold of. I've just managed to get hold of the laser disc, Japanese laser disc, which I found for a guy because he was after it, and also the Japanese film brochure. They're quite rare, and so I managed to track them down, and the guy's quite happy because he bought them. Um, James Bond is always good. Yeah. Uh, there was a best of John Barry that I recommended to a guy earlier because I collect John Barry as well. Oh, I yes. have a bit of knowledge about John Barry compilations. So there was a one called The Best of John Barry, which came out in the late 60s, early 70s. It's a double album with a drawing of John Barry on the front. And then it's one of the finest selections of John Barry's work. A compilation, so I recommend that is all that on my recommendation. So, hopefully, so back. can't have a look at it because it's sold. I can't look at it because I just sold <laughs> it. Uh, is there anything I would recommend in here? These are quite nice. So, Japanese best of uh, John Barry, yeah, and his best it covers well, it covers more than Goldfinger because we got you and Live Twice, Honor Masters, Diamonds Are Forever. So, there's a, there's a bit of a mix of John Barry, even though it looks like it's predominantly golfing. That's quite nice and quite rare. Uh, then we have, and this is vinyl. And what's the price for something like that? Oops, the price on that is £20. Okay. And we have this one here, which is basically John Barry Gold. Again, £20. Uh, and as with most Japanese things, they the, the content it's a, is just gorgeous. They normally come with a little booklet. So the Japanese content is just second to none. Wow. So, um, so that's quite a nice one. Again, £20, so not too bad. Um, laser disc wise, some of the box sets are quite nice. We had an Aliens box set. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's also sold. <laughs> I should have come earlier. Should have come earlier. <laughs> uh, there's some nice anime stuff. For example, that's a, not anime, but Godzilla, nice little yeah. box set there. Uh, so these are laser discs. These are laser discs. That was vinyl, this is laser discs. So these are laser discs, so vinyl, laser discs. Um, but yeah. Um, the box sets are normally the ones that people go for. The aliens, which I've sold. Yeah. Um, and there's been some nice um, Godzilla box sets, which basically just, they put posters in and they put leaflets. They're very quite nice. Again, unfortunately, I've got yeah. the box set there. Well, it seems you're doing well. I, yeah, it's, it's good. Well, his sales spiel on the Japanese John Barry collection worked on me. I bought it. And then at the back wall, I stumbled upon this super rare Moonraker poster and I let the dealer explain why it is so rare and sought after. Hi, I'm Mark and I run the website www.vitchingsworthyposter.co.uk It's a pleasure to present this Moonraker poster to you today. This is a large format Japanese V-Zero with the the artwork of Daniel Guzzi. Spectacularly rare because of the size. Japanese V zeros are the scarcest of any posters pr printed for Japanese theatres simply because of the size. The normal, the regular, most common Japanese poster is a V2, about this. And occasionally you may get a bigger, but this is a super rare V zero. The artwork. It's fantastic, and one of the few times Bond, whether it's the Roger Moore, Sean Connery, his brother, is featured in anything other than a black tuxedo. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. The villain Jaws, the Bond girl known as Charles, the Space Shuttle, which if you remember at the time, 1979, was quite rare. Bond is all it into life and as usual in their productions they're way ahead of the curve in terms of what's what you know and what is going to be but yes it is a bit of a star wars rip off but it's a good one really underrated bond movie and when you say super rare 
What uh, price tag is attached to that? Price tag on this is £795, which I think is a very fair price for what it is. Then B2s, which are much, much more common, sell for around about £150 to £200, depending on condition. Okay. With, yeah, it looked, uh, the colours look spectacular. Beautiful, unfaded, lovely roll condition, real special piece. I promised to show you the other items I bought that day, so here we go. This is a film program for the 1983 James Bond film Octopussy. I know they don't have these anymore, they must have been phased out sometime in the 80s or 90s. But before that, you could often buy printed programs at the box office, some of higher quality than others, admittedly. But if we look at this, you know, nice color reproduction. Um, key moments from the film in color photos, full overview of the uh, cast, mini bios. I had this signed by both Carol Ashby and uh, Stephen Burkhoff on the right, who I'm afraid wasn't the most accommodating. Um, he famously has a low opinion of the uh, blockbusters he was in. I had planned to ask him whether the menacing physicality of his general Orloff and Octopussy was informed by his theater work, because I think it is a very vivid uh, character. He really brings across the, the menace, more so perhaps than some other villains in the series. But unfortunately, there wasn't an opportunity for that. Well, at least I got my autograph. And then there's this, which is the same kind of thing for the man with the golden gun. Let's put this on the table cam as well. And I'm planning to take that to an event later in the year that celebrates the 50th anniversary of the man with the golden gun and have it signed by Maud Adams and Britt Ackland, who will be present there, I hope. At least they were announced. Uh, sadly, not Sir Roger Moore because he's no longer with us. But I already have a Roger Moore autograph and I'm going to stick that under the credits. So hang around until the end. You get to see that as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be first to know when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.